So I just finished Squid Game like everyone else in the world. I'm a little traumatized because of the gore. I lost faith in humanity, but it doesn't mean I don't want to dress up for Halloween as a Squid Game character. Also, like, what a great topic to make a YouTube video about because you gotta get that clout, boy. You gotta get it while you can, especially around Halloween time. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, and if you are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I post videos every single week. Here on Love K Ray, I try to entertain you guys. I post videos on selling random things on the internet so that I could buy a house by the age of 25. That is the goal. But then I also sprinkle some fun videos of trending topics like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Like, if you think I'm remotely funny, like even this much funny, like please hit that subscribe button. Like, please. I'm just gonna give you guys a 10 second explanation on what Squid Game is. If you don't know, we probably do if you're here, but whatever. Squid Game has been making records on Netflix here. It's a dystopia South Korean show based on 405 six people that are in debt, in financial ruin. Out of desperation, they play a series of children games so that they can win a large sum of money in the end, but it's very gory. A lot of people die in very gruesome, disgusting ways. It's shocking, it's horrific, it's bad, it's gooey, it's gooey. But if you are watching this video, you've probably already seen it, so like, why did I even say that? Why did I even waste 10 seconds of your life? Today, I will be dressing up as the lead female character, otherwise known as Sebyuk. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm really sorry if I'm not. I, I really apologize. Sebyuk, a badass who is in the game so she can make enough money to go and get her brother from the orphanage and eventually save her mom from North Korea. But say Byuk, like, doesn't trust anyone, you know? Like, she's smart. She's like, I'm not gonna trust you. Like, you don't need to know my name. You don't need to know the T. Like, let's just play the games and, like, be done with it. You know what I mean? Relatable. I also feel like, unlike the other characters, say Byuk isn't really depicted as, like, a crappy person before the games. You know what I mean? Like, yes, she was a pickpocketer, but, like, no, she didn't forget about her own daughter's birthday and gamble all of the money they had. And don't get me started on Sangwoo. That's a dirty, dirty, white-collar criminal, if you know what I mean. I call that a um, fraud. So naturally, I'm going to dress up as Se Byuk. Also, spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen it, skip this for five seconds. I'm going to be dressing as Se Byuk in the last episode when she is, you know, in a suit. She's a little bloody, if you know what I mean, because like Halloween, like I want to embrace the gore. Like I want to embrace the gore. Like is it Squid Game if it's not covered in blood? You know what I mean? So I'm going to embrace that goriness. Is that a word? Goriness. Also, I have more of the items in that suit scene than like the track suit scene because like I the only track suit I own is like a purple Juicy Couture track suit and I don't think that's what they were wearing when they were playing Squid Games. I mean, maybe they were. That'd be like iconic, like Juicy, like a promo, like a little a little campaign to like reboot Juicy Couture track suits. Like Squid Game. Oh, I love that. Wait, that's a good collab. Someone who owns a track suit co company should like make that collab happen. Make that happen. All right, so let's just dive into the costume because like, what are we waiting for? Okay, so I don't have a legit tuxedo because why would I have a legit tuxedo? Like, do I look like a real shitty guy here? So I don't have a tuxedo, but I do have this black blazer, vintage, Dior. We love it. It even has like the shiny material, which is kind of like what was on their tuxedo. So let's just roll with the punches. So if you have a black blazer, bust that baby out. You're gonna want it. Unless you have a tuxedo, like, great for you. Then, you could just get a white button-down shirt, but I surprisingly have a white button-down shirt with these, like, little, like, frilly, pockety, like, I don't even know, extra material that's just there to, like, be, like, a nuisance. If you don't have, like, a crinkly cut waffle fry or whatever curly fry shirt, then just wear a white regular button-down shirt. Then I'm just gonna wear some black slacks, some black dress pants, whatever you want to call it. No, the suit doesn't match. Do you think I own a suit that matches? No, I don't because I'm chaotic and why would I be responsible and buy like a set, you know? And if we look at um, Sebyuk, you can see that even in the last episode, they still have their numbers on them. Even when they're eating that like great meal and like, you know, live in their last live in their life, they still have their numbers on them kind of to dehumanize them. So I have a Cricut machine, so I printed out her number 67 or 067 if you want to be exact. Now this is where it gets tricky, okay? I don't own a bow tie, so I actually posted on like a local Facebook community group. Hopefully no one murders me when I go pick up the bow tie, but actually they never replied, so I won't be picking up a bow tie, so I have to DIY this. I don't have time. To DIY this, I have this ribbon, which is not black, but I also have like a can of spray paint, which like might, like if I put it here and like breathe the toxins in, I might die tonight, but that's besides the point. It's also relatable to 
Yeah, book. Okay. So I have this black gloss protective enamel. This is definitely not what you should use. So if this is my last video, it was great while it lasted. Also, you can see this is very flimsy. So like, it's just going to be like, womp, womp, womp. So you know what I have? I have wire. I don't know if this is going to do anything, but like, I think my mom ties like Christmas bows to wreaths and they don't look all floppy. So Maybe wire will help. My hair is pretty dark already, like pretty similar to her hair color besides like the bottom parts that I bleached out of like a mental breakdown that I was having last year. And then I like decided to chop it off. Like I literally chopped off the ponytail myself um, and I threw it at someone and that really happened. That was after I dyed my hair pink. So if you want the timeline of events, COVID was a long, <gasps> it's been a long two years or so. <laughs> Hair's like short, obviously not as like, her hair is kind of to here, so I mean, I might be able to like fluff it up to make it shorter, or maybe I should just chop it off. That would be like silly, goofy, crazy vibes, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna cut bangs, but maybe I'll like, you know, put them here and be like, hi, I'm CA <laughs> For makeup, I'm definitely going to add some like purpley eyeshadow here just because I don't have like costume makeup. I'm just gonna do purple eyeshadow that I already have just to make some dark eye bags because as you know if you've seen it in the games you are sleeping very minimum minimum. <laughs> you aren't really getting a lot of sleep because like people can kill you in the middle of the night like you're cut you're on edge you're constantly stressed out your body is literally put through like crap you're not eating you're sucking on a potato for nutrients which like mm, no. So I put the shirt and the blazer on my hair is like looking too long for this um but it is messy and that's kind of like what she had in it i'm just gonna take the purple eyeshadow this is my mirror because i already have bags i already have like i don't need this but whatever okay let's go for it can't tell if that's my natural eye or if the eyeshadow is doing anything like is that doing anything oh i look crazy So those are my bags, which kind of look sickly in like the best way. Not like romanticizing that, but whoa, that looks good. I should be a makeup artist. <laughs> Jeffree Star, I'm coming for you. That's the only makeup artist I know. I decided not to spray paint this because I don't know if I want to die today, but it's blue. It's kind of obvious that it's blue, but um, just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna keep it blue, but if I had more time and if I was actually like going somewhere dressed up as her, I would definitely like paint this in black. Also, her lips are like bigger than mine, if that makes sense, and they like, they're very like plump in a way. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit of lipstick, but not make it like obviously lipstick, just make it look like my lips are crusty, which they already are, so why am I doing this? Okay, just tap it on. Did that do anything? Probably not. This is like dried up Kylie Jenner lip kit that I got for Valentine's Day like years and years and years and years ago. And it's literally dried up. So maybe that adds to the crust. Oh my god, it does add to the crust. Crusty uncrustables. Ah, oh, those hit different. Now we have our fake blood. You know, she was cut by glass. I'm not, I don't know. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. She was cut by glass on her face, her neck. So we're just going to, is this washable? Is this washable? What is this? Like, what is this? Cause like I could have made food dye, but I bought this at Party City. I think that's, does it work? Did it work? Kind of. Oh, it's like jelly. It's like uncrustable jelly. Ew, only I would like Okay, that's very bloody. Only I would like get, that's like too bloody. Actually, no, that's good. Oh, wow. Only I would get like excited about fake blood because it looks like uncrustable jelly. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna make it like here. Here's the slash. And then obviously there's dribbles. Uh, you know? Whoa, are my boobies showing? Don't look. I hope this washes off because this is Dior, like I mentioned. Do I look good? I don't look like her. Do I look like- oh, I forgot the bow tie, duh. Okay, Th this looks like I'm a tribal- like, this is not- Is that better? That's kind of spooky. Maybe I need some on my lips because hers are very like- Meh. In a good way. In a good- that wasn't- mm, That's fine, okay. Oh, the finishing touch! Zero, six, seven. Oh my god, I can't believe I printed that this out. Like, that took a lot of effort, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't messing around when I did that, okay. <sighs> It's kind of shiny. It's like not looking great in the glare. Not looking great in the glare, but whoa. I need to cut my hair.
to complete the look. Should I just cut my hair? Oh my god, hello, wow. Okay, I need more blood. I need blood like everywhere. Oh, I also popped to put my pants on. Don't look, don't look. Okay, I completed the look. As you can see, I have my number here. I have the bow tie that I want to be black, but it's not yet. I have the gash on my face, the gash here. I didn't put blood on my shirt because I don't want to like, you know, not be able to wash it out because I still wear this shirt. Um, but I would like go all out and do like the blood here. And I think this is pretty like accurate besides my hair maybe. Like, um, I hope you like this squid game Halloween look. Hope you thought it was creative, fun, fresh. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for videos every single week here on Love Care and I hope you have a very happy Halloween. <laughs> I get a knife. Oh, iconic. Do I have a knife? I might have a knife. Butter knife.